The Dangote family is obviously one of the richest families in Nigeria. But do you know how many constructions, projects, firms and establishments this family is currently working on? In this video, we will show you 10 top projects owned by the Dangote family. At 10, we have the Dangote Cement. Dangote Cement PLC is a Nigerian multinational publicly traded cement manufacturer headquartered in Lagos. The company is engaged in the manufacture, preparation, import, packaging, and distribution of cement and related products in Nigeria and has plants or import terminals in nine other African countries. Nine is Dangote Sugar Refinery PLC. Dangote Sugar Refinery PLC is an integral part of the federal government of Nigeria's National Sugar Development Master Plan. In 2012, Dangote Sugar committed to becoming an integrated sugar business serving local and export markets from integrated sugarcane plantations and factories across Nigeria over the next 10 years. The goal is to achieve the capacity to produce 1.5 billion tons of refined sugar annually from sugarcane plantations covering more than 150,000 hectares of land across a number of sites in Nigeria. This step will move Dangote Sugar from a pot-based refinery to fully integrated sugar production within Nigeria, thereby helping Nigeria to achieve self-sufficiency in sugar production and create over 100,000 new employment opportunities. The first phase of the project is at an advanced stage, with the rehabilitation and expansion of Dangote Sugar, an integrated sugar estate at Numan in Adamawa State, reintroduction of a robust outgrower scheme, and the charting of a sustainable community relations and development initiative guided by consultations and engagement with the local communities. Number 8 is the National Salt Company of Nigeria, NASCON. The National Salt Company of Nigeria, NASCON, is a subsidiary of Dangote Group. It is involved in the refining and packaging of table salt, industrial salt, and agricultural salts in Nigeria. NASCON was established in 1971 and after many years of poor performance, the company began to recover following its acquisition by Dangote Industries, a member of the Dangote Group, in January 2007. The new owner improved the company's productive assets, placing them in favorable and competitive locations and increasing production capacity to 400,000 tons. 7. is Dangote Floor Mills PLC Dangote Floor Mills PLC is a company in Nigeria that produces wheat products which include bread flour, confectionery flour, pasta semolina, and bran. Pasta products made by the company are spaghetti and macaroni. Dangote Flour Mills is a subsidiary of Dangote Industries Limited, which is one of Nigeria's largest and fastest growing conglomerates. The company's flour mills are located in Apapa, Kano, Kalaba, and Ilori, with a total installed capacity of 5,000 metric tons per day. Six is Dangote Oil Refinery. Dangote Oil Refinery is a 650,000 barrels per day integrated refinery project under construction in the Lekki Free Trade Zone near Lagos, Nigeria. It is expected to be Africa's biggest oil refinery and the world's biggest single train facility. The pipeline infrastructure at the Dangote Petroleum Refinery is the largest anywhere in the world, with 1,100 kilometers to handle 3 billion standard cubic foot of gas per day. The refinery alone has a 435 megawatt power plant that is able to meet the total power requirement of Ibadan Disco. The refinery will meet 100% of the Nigerian requirement of all refined products and also have a surplus of each of these products for export. Dangote Petroleum Refinery is a multi-billion dollar project that will create a market for $21 billion per annum of Nigerian crude. It is designed to process Nigerian crude with the ability to also process other crudes. 5. is Dangote Agro Sacks Dangote Packaging Limited was established in 1998 as a private limited liability company to produce both woven and laminated polypropylene sacks. It commenced operations with a monthly output of 5 million bags, not only to meet the requirements of unit companies within the Dangote Group, but also to the commercial requirements of external customers. These bags are produced without any stitching. It is provided with an automatic valve. The technology of plastic fusion is applied in these bags. This helps the industries to increase their packing production enormously. In addition, it is also stronger than paper bags. The company also manufactures jumbo bags, open market bags, and shopping bags. The investment of the company is not only in machinery, but also in people. Through multifaceted training, this has seen the company developing into the foremost provider of flexible woven polypropylene sacks, mat, and twine in Nigeria. 
four is Dangote Fertilizer Plant. Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari has inaugurated a 2.5 billion US dollars fertilizer plant as the country's target to contribute to the global supply amidst increasing prices during the Russian-Ukrainian war. High costs of fertilizers are already threatening farmers. Amid sanctions on Russia, a significant supply of fertilizers across the world where the government in March urged domestic producers to temporarily halt exportation. The Dangote fertilizer plant is located in Lagos and is owned by the richest man in Nigeria, Aliko Dangote. During the plant's launch on March 22, President Buhari said that the nation stands to gain extensively from its production. Most countries in Africa and the world are heavily dependent on commercializing agriculture, directly translating to the increase in the demand for fertilizers. In Nigeria, agriculture contributed 25.8% of the US$173 billion US dollars gross domestic product in 2021. The Dangote fertilizer plant will help eradicate the fertilizer problem as most farmers in the country are restricted with limited supplies such as fertilizer and improved seedlings. 3. is Dangote Road Construction Projects The Federal Executive Council FEC, approved the award of a contract to Dangote Industries for the construction of five roads totaling 274.9 km at the local cost of 300 billion naira. The contract sum will be advanced by the company as tax credit. Minister of Works and House in Babatine Fashola disclosed this while briefing State House correspondents at the end of the council meeting presided over by President Muhammad Buhari at the First Ladies Conference Room, Presidential Villa Abuja. The minister said the road contract, which was the second approved for the ministry at the meeting, will be executed on concrete and will be the largest of such projects in the country. The roads, specifically, are Bamar to Barnki in Borno State for 51 billion naira with 49.1 kilometers, Dikwa to Gamburu Ungala 49.5 km in Borno State for 55 billion naira. The Inamdi Azikwe Road, popularly known as Western Bypass in Kaduna, 21.4 km from Command Junction to Kau, in the sum of 37 billion naira, and the Deep Seaport Access Road sections 1 and 3 in Lagos State, through Ekwe to Shagamo Expressway, 54.24 km that links Lagos and Ogun States, in the sum of 85 billion naira. At number 2, we have MHF Properties Limited. MHF is a service-oriented company specializing in managing, developing, and or renovating luxury properties and apartment homes. They also provide long and short-term residential leases in the exquisite list of deluxe properties spread across Ikoi and Victoria Island, Lagos. The company was founded in 2011 and offers one of the largest floor areas in the market. Each of the luxury apartments provide spaces to create beautiful memories, extraordinary customer service with the highest focus on excellence. MHF also offers tailored facility management services to homes, shopping malls, office spaces, schools, sports clubs, and more. MHF has overseen major renovation works for clients and is an integral part of the team handling the development of the new Dangote Oil Refinery office located in Ikoyi, Lagos. The portfolio of services is constantly growing and they have recently introduced a highly sought function of interior decoration. At number one, we have Dangote Seasoning. As a business organization, it is important to ensure that product offerings meet the needs of consumers. Hence, Dangote introduced the Dangote Classic Seasoning. This bullion cube is made with a unique blend of spices and herbs which can be used in preparing different delicacies to give that delicious taste and aroma. Dangote seasoning has a classic flavor which can be used to prepare any meal and is available in a 4 gram cube. Under the Dangote seasoning umbrella is the Dan Q seasoning. This is a high quality product made from a rich selection of spices and other raw materials blended to perfection and laced with love to ensure tasty meals each time, every time. Also check out 6 constructions and projects owned by the Adeleke family. Click on the video showing on your screen to watch it now.